think like that, I will love you endlessly. If you only believe in me, don't you be like that, I will love you forever. If you don't even believe in me, It's a plan or a project is realized. The plan have come to fruition sooner than expected. Fruition. Sorry, I said it wrong. I said fruit. Sorry. Vibrant. Raise your hand. What? Anger and enthusiasm. <laughs> what is it? Anger and enthusiasm. Energy. Full of energy. Not angry. Oh, yeah. Aim the Vibrant. Aim the energy. Aim. Get out of here, you cheater. And enthusiasm. Don't, you, you, vicious. You can't really read the bottom, so like, it's okay. It's kind of messed up. Do you know what vicious means? I know. Because Bubbles is going to raise his hand for everything at this point. Vicious. Dazzling. Hold vicious. Up, no. Vicious. Not dishes. Big and scary. Let me see. Being attacked. Having, vicious animal. Having or showing a Having lack wrong. of thought or, or, what is that? Having wrong intentions. Yeah, Whoa. yeah, Whoa. you wrote that. Being vicious about being life. angry or or aggressive, basically. And yeah, you're gonna rewrite that. Being hard. Tremote, tremoteless, tremul. Okay, I don't know. Hold on, let me say this word. And then we almost tremoteless. Tremoteless. <laughs> I cannot say that word. Hold on. Tremulous. 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 Get out of your book. You're supposed to memorize it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got more. No, you're not getting your book back. You ready? Tremulous. Like scare. Tremulous. Scare. Talk. Quivering. Yeah, timid. Depiction. Really? Depiction. Where's that at? It was in there. Depiction. Did you guys do it? We did it, but we didn't study all of them. Okay. Depiction. How about Zabuso? Where is the boozo? Let me see. I know, I know what it is. Where is it? <laughs> so right now you made me cry. Zellius, girl. I, I, th I think I know the definition. What is that? that? Ma, we put the, the word Zellius on my thing. That's right. I know. Like, oh, yeah. What? Spending a lot. Spending time with your family? No. Spending no. a lot of time or energy to something that you believe. 
<laughs> you okay, okay. Like, I know of something like that, though. Yeah, you put your clothes for that. Something that you <laughs> she did. said, Zabuso? <laughs> that was funny. All right. Yeah, that I wrote was, it down. It's okay, ma. Hold on. You can't read it. <laughs> Spends a lot of time or energy supporting something they have believed in. And <laughs> you got to write this over, sweetheart. I know, I can't read it. You really can't. <laughs> I can't read it either. You got to do better. All right. <laughs> Now oh, we did a. Uh, let's do one more. Yeah, Proportionate. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. To be um. Raise your hand. Wait. Can you be, Disproportionate. Like not attached. <laughs> like I know I, I remember. Like, <laughs> did you wrote it? To be uh, to be unattached. Listen to the word. This. I know what this. Proportion. I know what that. What means. does portion mean? I know what portion means. Who's the doggy ma? Disproportion. Disproportion. Do they have onions in them? Like, yeah. What does proportion mean? Like a serving size. Well, what does disproportion mean? Like to be uh, disconnected from something. A portion of something with a lot or a certain amount. Of something. Wait, my king. What is it? Me, can you give me like a hint? Like something? Like an answer? Uh, it is too small or big for something. Oh. Like a portion of something, certain amount. But this. Proportion means it's too big or small. It's too yeah. big or too small. Right. To, to, I did this one earlier. You're very before. intrusive. Like, and I don't like very, it. Very, very, uh, like very blatant. Did you say what? Blatant? Blatant? Mm -hmm. Blatant? Mm -mm. Intrusive, like saying something like that just comes to your mind, like. Something bad. It's a behavior. Causing disruption or a nuisance through means, being unwelcome or uninvited. Nondescript means, uh. Okay. So. To be. Girl, for, we did it already. For some, no, for something to be, um. Yeah, what are you doing? To suffer from. Nondescript? Yes. Bye, watch out. characteristics in. That's okay, mom. We got it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got it. Good job. So. The backpack fell. Essays. Oh Where are we starting tomorrow? Essay. Your rough draft, draw, oh, draw. your rough draft. draft, right? And research, which is what role? Research. Do, do, two weeks. Do, two weeks or week? No, research. you said the word. Due diligence. There you go. <laughs> your due diligence. Watch your mouth. Due diligence, correct? Sure. All right. Now, since we had a late class, oh. You guys want this to give you details? Yeah. At least for your rough draft. Is researching doing our homework? Mm, yeah. That's classwork. Yeah. I okay. Can <laughs> there you go. Put your name on it. <laughs> Put your name, and I'll do mine. Like I said. Here you go. No, I'm a teacher. And then we're going to start writing on this the next Fortnite. day. Fortnite. Okay. All right, go you guys. Oh, my God. That's all. Let's go. go, go. Uh, uh, where's your folder? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Do you guys want me to put this away in my folder? No, I actually like to keep my stuff with me because I don't know what you guys do with my stuff. You Girl, guys, bye. You guys can put a spell on it and wish bad on it. Oh, so you're talking about which Kevin? We're Christian? I'm not. Like, oh. I don't do this video. <laughs> all right guys Whoa. so i'm actually going to switch cameras right now i'm going to go on my actual camera and i'll see you guys in a minute because they need to eat well, but good good class huh good class mommy's going to give you the rest of it this is going to be your rough draft I don't hope. I like a <laughs> sorry papa uh -huh. so um it's for 6 11. Wow, we, we did a hey, hey, hey. we started class at eight, eight in the morning. Oh, yeah, okay. We did a long class today, y'all. I'm good. actually gonna go through my homeschool bag. Uh, you get an intercom in our room. I should get the bullhorn to wake you guys up. Everybody, report to the dining table <laughs> right now in thirty minutes. <laughs> I should the way y'all sleep. Bobby is awake. <laughs> no. It's not. We're gonna hear it the whole day. That's it, and then it is off. Thirty can, minutes. Somebody in this. Group have, change people. their name on their device. It's okay, I'm changing my password, so it I don't matter. Have what Somebody change. I had peanut on there. Exactly, it's still there. No, it's not. I Look. Oh, I'm sorry, ma. Let me see. 
You have an iPhone 13. Yeah, like, you can't change it unless it's on your phone. We don't go on the phone. No. Mm -hmm. Bing, bing to me. Bing, bing to me. Yeah. <laughs> bing, bing to me. You're, no. so you're lying. See, you all up in the business because you want to see what you did. That's why. And I'm connected. Yeah, we're all connected. You probably just wrote it right now. <laughs> bing, bing to me. So, no, ma'am. <laughs> Being mean so like don't don't like do that without my permission. You don't do that without my permission. I don't First have, of all, I don't have your passwords. All you my, all my, my kids my have my password. We don't even have account. All right, guys, let me switch cameras. Yeah, some school work as y'all saw, and um, yeah, we had a little late school today. Hold on, let me fix this lighting. It's so horrendous right now. A little late school work. Uh, my husband wanted me to print out, um, what happened to my bag of white? Um, oh, I actually like that chair, it's kind of comfortable, but okay. okay. It's okay, mom, I'm good. So, I'm warming up my coffee, child. You know you have an addiction now when you're actually doing work and you think of the coffee. Yeah, that was me. So, anywho, so I was over there, my cat messed up my blind. She messed it up. I have to fix it. So we did late school work, and now I'm just chillaxing, cleaning up, and getting ready for tomorrow. God willing, Josiah has his hair appointment, and Raul has his braces appointment to get a consultation. So we're gonna clean up and put away dishes. My daughter was organizing something, she said, when I wasn't here. So, on that note, I wanted to come up here real quick and say I um, am starting a new series that I wanted to do, which is uh, Mom Diaries, Busy Mom Diaries. Uh, I really wanted to talk about that stuff because as a mother, we don't really, um, we're expected to do like so much on our plate, right? But we sometimes take the, forget to take the time out for ourselves and what we go through and how we have to feel those emotions and sometimes um, we forget to just breathe and live and realize that we're only one person, one body and we have to take care of us and go through that healing journey of whatever that may be affecting us and as my walk with God and my walk with well God has been real to the point where the devil's trying to throw daggers at me like an incident earlier and I wasn't mad that they, okay, friend. I wasn't mad. I was more like, oh, God, here we go again. You know, and I just, I actually, I actually sat there with class and respect, and I just kindly let them know about themselves without responding negativity, you know? And I'm learning that now, and I'm proud of me, you know, and what God has brought me through. And I believe the, that, well, you're gonna see after this, what I'm trying to say is, in the next two videos, it's two parts, because I don't want it to be so long, and it's a mix with a vlog as well, is, in my prayer board, <laughs> is that, you know, you're not perfect, you're gonna make mistakes along the way as long as you learn from it and don't go back to doing the same mistake because then it becomes a mockery in God's eyes. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. And do, you're gonna receive flack from people, oh, now you wanna be a Christian. Everybody wants to be a Christian. Listen, what's wrong with being a Christian? What's wrong with um, trying to live right? Because when, it's funny how, and it's really not funny, but funny how when you are in listening to secular music or trying to be of the world, it's like they're okay with that. But then, you know, it's not a big problem. Like they did to the NFL player that was thanking his Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. They literally edited it out. But those would be the same people that will sit there and call on God when their family needs, you know? And I, myself, am, I'm ready to just go along this journey i'm learning every step of the way i'm learning not to give in i'm learning to just say breathe take a moment mama and you got this breathe take a moment and say where is this text coming from or where is this attitude where is this tone where is this coming from and learn to just take a moment and just say you know what 
get on my face with that. You know what I mean? So that's where I'm at right now in life. And I'm okay with it. All of it. And I actually wanted to go ahead and that's why I have a second channel. But I was thinking about like, should I make that Sharice's channel? Like even though this is Sharice's life, maybe I'll make this more of the family channel and then get into depth more with me what I went through what I'm learning what I'm growing through until that second channel but I think I should just wait so you might see a big change in everything you might see oh well you know you're talking more about God and you know you're doing this yes I'm always gonna talk more about God I'm always gonna be his vessel I'm always gonna try to feed his sheep you know because at a point I was lost, at a point I didn't know where I was going, at a point I was being reckless, at a point I was being wretched, you know? And at one point do you say, enough is enough, I'm tired of this life, it ain't it. Ain't it. it ain't it. You know, like I live a life that I ain't trying to keep up with the Joneses, I live a realistic life. I may not have what every YouTuber, well not every, I take that back, but some YouTube moms may have that aesthetic, that, um, that life where everything is just so perfect. No, you may see things in plates on my thing. You may see this and that, but just know my family's happy. We're happy, we're living, and this is a real, real, real life of me. What's up, babe? You good? Papo's is at one, yours is at 12. So I'm gonna drop you off early. Good? All right, huh? Oh, you're just excited. That's fine, babe. That's fine. So, like right now, you're gonna have interruptions and all that, and I get it. Some people don't have the attention span. Some people just don't like it. That's fine. But I won't change me. I can, like I always say, constructive criticism is what you know I respect. But to think that, um. I'm gonna sit here and just give in to the devil's endeavorments. I'm not, I'm really not. I'm actually happier now in life than I ever was before. I grew better in my relationship with God. I grew better with my husband, with my children, and even more so myself, where I'm being more easier on me. I'm not, I used to be so hard on me that I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't let up to the point I made it to the point where if I didn't get something done, I was it would it ruin my moment. You know, no, there's always tomorrow because if you rush, you don't miss the blessing in the moment. What God is trying to show you, what God is trying to bring you up from. So, yes, my channel is taking a different turn. Yes, I'm on to be. Throw my neck garbage bag, okay? Because I have one right there. I don't even know why that's even on the dough. One of my children, I bet. So, it's just like. I'm just letting you know now, there is a big shift, a big change, and um, you're still gonna get my mom vlogs, you're still gonna get me, you're still gonna get the weight loss, which I'm definitely, after this, working on, and I know I said I'm gonna work on my New Year's Eve and all that, and I have, but for some reason, I've been more eager to spread the word of God, and I am gonna get to it. I don't care if it's in January or February, March, April, May, June, and I'm gonna release it, you know, but right now, I'm working on showing you guys the shift, that's, the transition that's happening in me because I'm with fire in me, you know, God has given me the oil to go ahead and honestly, I've been slacking on my Bible study. I think it's because I've been more confused and I've been telling my parents just to help me, which they have. So today, right now, once I put this video up, I'm gonna go and do my Bible study and I'm taking it day by day. I'm learning a new schedule, building better habits because I'm finding myself burnt out by the end of the night, not doing anything far as Bible study wise. And that can't happen with my walk with God. And that's a lifestyle, not a walk, a lifestyle. Not even a journey, it's a lifestyle for me. So, you know, and you notice when you um on this walk with God, this journey with God, or this lifestyle with God, that you're gonna be attacked. Be prepared, you're gonna be attacked. And I've been attacked lately, and I've been dealing in it with grace. And I love it. And I'm not here to put anyone down. I'm not here. Listen, you know when you're ready. But just know that, you know, God is the only way. God is the only way for a peaceful life. I protect my peace from people because I can't get that back. Mm -mm. That's why I say whatever. Whatever. If I choose to respond, I'm not going to respond negatively. I'm, negatively. 
negative, negatively, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna pray for you, but I, I can tell you, I can tell you in a good way, you know? But I'm a Christian, yes, but I'm not soft. I'm saved like that podcast, saved and not soft. Saved but not soft. You know, meaning, you know, just because I'm a Christian doesn't mean I'm gonna have to let everything go by. No, there's some t instances where I do have to tell you about yourself or whatever, but I don't have to say it so derogatory to the point where I'm literally gonna make you commit something or, no, I'm gonna tell you what it is and that's it. Block, it is, you know? Or sometimes I might not even do it at all. Especially when I feel like, ugh, what is this? You know? So. All right, guys, I'm gonna get this video off for you. I went to my mama's house, as you saw. That printer was pissing me off, got me upset, but we're learning. Um, I couldn't print out the rest and had to do another membership. So that's what I had to do. I paid $8.51 today. Cause I remember I did a video, and I gotta look through my videos and see where did I have my membership from? I know I had a year membership. It's probably up by now, but whatever. I got all my printouts. We're doing an essay. They're learning how to write an essay. As you saw, they have fun, but you know, I'm focused on my children. And I'm gonna do the essay with them. And my topic, of course, is gonna be homeschool. And if you're like me, where homeschool for us is more relaxed, um, meaning we don't emulate a school system we do what i feel is necessary for them to know throughout life and their father also teaches them he teaches them math and whatever else i need to teach them so i try to set everything up if you want to know more about that i do have other videos but i do i will make an updated videos i'm sure i'm not like them seasoned homeschool mommies out there that have all these academics one day i wish to be but right now this works for me and um this is what's working for my family right now. And they seem to be enjoying it and I love it. So a lot of things are transpiring here. A lot of things are coming into fruition. And fruition, can I say that word right? And I'm loving it. So guys, oh, but I will say, be prepared for Josiah's video. He's gonna uh, debut himself as he wanted to uh, with his new hairdo. And right now, I'm just gonna go get this video up. I wanted to show you guys what it's like in a late school day, um, how I don't pressure my kids. I mean, where we gotta wake up at 7 a.m. And no, no, we do what we do. And there's times where I do good at my kids and say, hey, you gotta take this more serious. Yes, they're, they're kids, yeah. And even myself, where I let myself with life get busy and then I sometimes slack off and I can't do that because their education is very well important. Um, I only teach some life lessons, um, some math that I feel they will utilize in life. Also, like essays, how to write an informal, informal uh, letter, how to speak on a phone, how to use your words properly, big words, and you know, you know, there's slang you can use in appropriate timing and when not to use it. But it's a lot. But you can do it if you want to do it. Um, it, I think it was more harder for me in the beginning because I was emulating the school system a lot and following a lot of YouTube moms that are very well structured. And honey, I don't know if I can do that. I love watching it, but I'd be like, oh, I wish I was her, but I can't, sis. I can, but it doesn't work with my family. See, that's one thing you gotta know. If you do want to do homeschool, let's talk for a minute. Hold on. Let's talk. If you a mama or a daddy who is trying to say, hey, you know, because I know a lot um, where, all right, let me fix y'all. A lot are saying that they're trying to homeschool their kids because of what's going on with the school systems nowadays. That's something you really need to really make sure you have the time, you have um, the patience and you learn and you have to give yourself grace you have to give yourself you know credit to where it's a lot and dealing with different children with different learning styles is a lot but if you don't sit there and overwhelm yourself to the point where now you're drowning and now it doesn't seem fun and something the kids don't look forward to it which what kid really look forward to working you know with school work but meaning 
where they're stressed out and you're stressed out. It's never going to work. No, take it easy. Let Learn your children's style. Learn where they're at, what their strengths, what their weaknesses are. You don't have to, I feel, again, this is me. Some may criticize. I get it. God bless you. But you don't have to go all out and buy all these extravagant books if you want you can of course and if that's how your family is learning then by all means do you boo but me i'm taking it easy with my kid i want to say taking it easy because we're upping it but i had to learn i was one time burnt out stressed out crying thinking oh my god i'm gonna fail them and i'm and what it is i was putting too much on me that i would take it out on them when in reality, it's not even like that. So different, all my kids have different learning styles, visuals, more of a visual learner. I'm a visual learner. Two of my children are visual learners. The other one gets it like this. He gets it spot on, you know, versus even when I was a little girl, honey, I'm a visual learner. I'll be like, okay, you can say all that. Show me. I can't do it and then you know that's how you get frustrated you get mad because you expect them to know listen no but you know when your kid is trying to you know play around with you too you know but you know you know you just you will find out you know this is all a learning process so do I feel like homeschool is really good I really do I love homeschool I wish I was homeschool but it is what it is I'm learning each time we do things I'm learning all this stuff that's why I show you guys websites and all that. I wish I would have done this sooner, to be honest with you. I really, really, really wish I would have just done this before COVID. Because I always told my husband I wanted to do. Oops, hold on. I wanted to do. Let me put y'all right here. How about that? <clears throat> you taking a shower, babe? He really goes in a shower with a whole hanger, you know. So, uh, I wish I would have homeschooled my youngest. Uh, I mean, my oldest. But... It's okay. He's all right. He homeschooled a little bit of the high school years. But I wish I would have grabbed him up when... Babe, come here real quick. When I had him when he was younger. Like, that, around that age, you know? But that's set and gone. So, let me get that paperwork right there. Now he's 20, so he good. Thank you, babe. So, now, like, I print out these, like, this is their rough draft of their essays that I'm having them do. All right, this is what they're going to be learning. Um, this is mine. And what I like about this is that you have lesson plans. Um, you have lesson plans that come with this. So, it tells you as the teacher, like, students will be able to complete an outline to prepare information essay draft. And then it says, ask your student, like, right here, tell the class that the key in writing Tell the class, and it tells you how long. Five minutes is supposed to be for your introduction. Tell the class that the key to writing an effective informational essay is communicating about the topic clearly and concisely. Explain that today we'll write out more formal statements for each part of their essay. So I like that a lot. Um, it helps me guide them and it won't confuse them. And that's what I think I was doing with them in the beginning trying to do all that once, trying to emulate a lot, and it wasn't working for me. So I had to back off a little bit and just do my own thing, and that's when I saw, oh, okay, we got this. So I get, like I say, my books from BJ's, I order on Amazon, I used to go to Ollie's. We don't have Ollie's no more. Ollie's, please come back to Water Bay, Connecticut, because we need you. I love going to Ollie's. It was really good. They had good books there. I know some of my kids still need help with reading. Uh, where else? Uh, let me see. One of my children have a slight touch of dyslexia, so I see it where she gets it, and then she'll write it a different way. So it's all a learning progress. All it's all learning your child and all learning. Listen, me and you stressed out ain't gonna work. So what we doing? Giving you a little extra devo devoted time to your child is where it's at. So, baby, when they say being a stay-at-home mom, they think it's nothing. Oh baby, it's a lot. Now even if you wasn't homeschool, it's a lot. And even though I'll be stay at home mom for a short period of time, it doesn't matter well, until my leg is healed. Um, when I go see my doctor in about a couple weeks, figuring out what's going on with it, 
then I have to give them self work. You know what I mean? And then I'll check it. And then Dallin is on Khan Academy doing her high school work. You know, so there's a lot that you can manipulate and work for your system in your house. You know, it's, don't let no one or family tell you, oh, you're crazy, you're bugging, they're not gonna be able to socialize. My daughter now, who's gonna be 15, dazzling in May, she's starting to feel that, and I understand that, but there's other things you can do. There's groups, join Facebook group meetings. Um, they have so much. And now that she'll be working soon, she has her socialization. And that girl's very, she's social. She all right. But I do understand they want friends. They learn friends in buildings. Um, go out with them to the park. Put them in sports. Stuff like that will help your kids engage with other children and won't feel so empty. But there are homeschool groups that can actually, they have events. I got invited, I got invited to so many. Uh, but it's just me. Like, I have trust issues. So, yeah, I don't do much of those. But now my friend, um, and her daughter, you know, I'm trying to get them to mingle and on their own time, of course. Um, and then we'll just take it from there, one step at a time. Don't feel overwhelmed. And I think that's my mistake in the beginning, feeling overwhelmed. Listen, when I tell you my house looked like a whole school classroom, it did. Um, I had chalkboard. Now I want to get a projector, though. That's what I want to do, projector. I don't know if I can paint here. I think in my lease it stated, I, yeah, it did state, I have to ask my landlord if I can paint. And I really don't want to paint over these walls. I really don't want my living room looking like a classroom. You get what I mean? So, that's why I'm putting bookcases in their room. I need a bookcase. I'm going to have a library and a half. They're going to have their bookcases that they're responsible for. So, that's why I say I'm decorating my house little by little and with intention. Because I don't want to just rush and make it for the sake of my videos. I'm doing it because I want it with purpose and everything has a home. I don't have babies no more. I don't need stuff in the living room. I don't need you to see all my clutter from all the books. No, honey. Some things I will store in the living room and some things they can keep in their room. Like I gave them each their action Bible. I dedicated it to them yesterday. They're responsible. You're at that age for accountability. If it's messed up, I'm gonna be very upset because that is your Bible book, you know? And you shouldn't, you're not a baby. You shouldn't be ripped, torn apart. Now, I know accidents happen, but it's accountability at this point. You're almost well into the teens now. My 11 year old is gonna be 12 in October. My 12 year old is gonna be 13 in, in April. And my 14 is gonna be 15 years old in May. I don't have babies, so. And my 20 year old don't have none of that stuff. So this is why I do encourage homeschool. And I know everybody's different and I don't look down on nobody who doesn't do that. I just think homeschool is very effective. If you have the time and you are able to be with your children on that, you know, there's working moms who homeschool um, and stuff like that. So that's about it. I wanted to come up here to say that and tell you guys there's a lot of changes coming through. And the video that you're going to see next is the two parts of, um, I don't know what to name it yet. You'll see it, but it's just showing my walk with God, my journey, my lifestyle change with God and why I decided to go with God. <clears throat> and... You know, hopefully it'll be an encouragement for any other young mother or mother, sister, daughter, wife, friends, whatever, to, um, you know, be confident in their walk and also be real with themselves and understand only you can make that walk, nobody else can. You have to be intentional, you have to be serious, and you have to really wholeheartedly want this. You have to talk to God about your journey, your walk, your, your lifestyle with God, because it's hard. It's hard, it is, you know, but that's that's the thing, you know, where, honey, if you can overcome all the worldly stuff, the secular music, secular, I mean, music, and I keep saying secular, secular music and the ways of the world, you're only going to live a better life with God and a peaceful life. That's why I say I'm better now because I live a more peaceful life, a nonchalant life, a more where do I feel things? Do I go through things? Absolutely. Do I hurt? Absolutely. Do I um, sometimes get tempted? Absolutely. But I know that my God is far way more important, far more important in my life than to worry about what he or she say or 
what someone's doing to me or I let God handle now if it's something wasn't you know in danger that's different but I have to keep myself in alignment to make sure I align with God and God looks for discipline and keeping your faith I don't walk by sight I walk by faith I don't walk by what the things of the world I walk by faith if I feel like God's gonna bring me through, then God's gonna bring me through, baby. I'm gonna keep on my faith. It may not look like it to you, I already know. I done been through some doozies and and amongst everybody else. You know, I mean I in that in that video you're gonna see what I talk about. And it is what it is. And I'm excited for you guys to watch it. So I'm gonna get to editing. I'm not gonna drag this out, but it's just something I'm very powerful in. And I mean I well yes I am powerful because I'm wonderfully and what is it? Wonderfully and fearfully created and I hope and pray that someone takes anything from the next video or any videos that I make and understand where I'm coming from um, and that's it so I'm gonna go eat I'm gonna go eat and then um, drink my coffee girl I've been a fiend for this coffee and I gotta do my workout workout video is gonna be coming up all right I'm gonna do that I just want to make sure I have the right angle for it so I'm gonna do my workouts today too because another thing too and I'll leave you with this when you walk with God remember we're a representation of God I have to build better habits I have to you know be self-disciplined within myself within my mind my body and my soul I just can't just walk the walk I gotta be able to talk the talk baby I can't encourage you guys to do something I ain't doing you know what I mean I can't say hey this is what you know this X, Y, and Z, and then you're like, well, Cherise, um, you saying all this, but you ain't do that yet, you know? So, that's where I'm at. I don't know if it's because of age that I'm aging up to a wiser woman, um, like I said, but I love it, and I love it here. Ever since I had this move, it's been amazing. Literally, truly amazing. All right, guys, so stay safe, stay prayed up, okay and i love you god bless see you in the next one difficult because I just can't stay in the same position it's like I waddle a little bit wobble not waddle ready so you're gonna put your legs like this focus on straight instead of like high up but just more of a reach pray for me put it in work but ain't breaking this way but it's not a protect See what I love so I gotta protect Don't with the past I'ma put it to rest No I'm with you is forever Okay, I wrote you a letter You said it followed a vision I know that it's different But it's better mm. Everything still got a season I cannot be here forever As long as I'm still praising God Living and breathing I'll write you a letter Back to the top Give me a lead Talk to God so I know what it is No a drama I'm not a kid Talk to me right or it's never again I'm a dog, walking with pressure. With the king and I stay getting better. Changing the world, ain't changing for cheddar. The kingdom of God's still gonna be in forever. Big dog status had caught me in metal. They finna see how I change for the better.
<laughs> Can't get my sweater, righteous, see I'm applying the pressure Yeah, they're gonna block out that block out the noise I'm like this, don't be mad, can't fight this Following God, and I know that it's priceless No I want you as forever, God, I want you a lot You said to follow the vision, I know that it's different, but it's better mm. Everything still got a season, I cannot be here forever As long as I'm still praising God, living and breathing, I'll write you a letter I'm done. So if you did this with me, good job. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. I'm gonna go and um, take a shower and then get ready for a busy day tomorrow. Okay? So if you did this with me, congratulations to you for working out. And I'm gonna go either take off these press-ons right here and um, what you might call it, paint my nails, get ready for a busy day, and then um, we can, um, if you guys like this, we can always do this. Okay, I'm tired, but put your mind to it. Step one, I was really not gonna do this today, but I know today's Monday, my workout week, okay, and I gotta look fab for my 38, 38 birthday. So, don't get discouraged if you don't have a gym membership. Do that at home. Half of the stuff I bought, City Trends, Five and Below, Amazon, where else? Um, all my TRX straps, I'll show you. I bought that for $200, really good. But tomorrow will be TRX straps day. Upper body and more squats every day for me. Today I'm doing squats. You hear for me? Yeah, that's it. Let me see. Oi. Let me see how it came out. I need a video. Oh, of course. Alright, guys. Good night.